Authority is constructed and contextual. It is important to know how to find and use information well in a variety of contexts. Recognizing when you need information and understanding how it is produced, valued, and disseminated will influence what you have access to, how you access it, and how you use it. The Framework for Information Literacy for Higher Education is a guiding document about information literacy developed by the Association of College and Research Libraries, also known as ACRL. It is made up of six interconnected core concepts called frames. This video will focus on one frame, authority is constructed and contextual. This concept encourages information users to think critically about the credibility of their information sources and what types of authority the authors have in the context of how the information is to be used. Scholarly sources. Many of your professors will require you to use scholarly sources for your research papers. Scholarly sources have a lot of value and many of the library's databases prioritize scholarly sources. But what are they? And why are they often considered authoritative sources of information? Scholarly sources are written by and for people with high levels of academic expertise. Usually the authors have graduate degrees and are employed as professors or researchers in the areas they're writing about. Additionally, many scholarly sources are peer-reviewed, meaning the article got approval from one or two peers in the field before publication. Why do your professors ask you to use these types of resources? Even though you're not the primary audience, engaging with these articles is still hugely beneficial. In addition to providing high-quality information that has been extensively reviewed and revised, Scholarly sources can introduce you to the language and communication styles used by experts in the field and help you understand the methods, evidence, and frameworks valued within the discipline. Think of your position in the field as an apprentice. You don't have the same authority or subject expertise as the authors of your scholarly sources, but you're developing your own authority through engaging with their work as you create your own works. It's important to think critically about all information sources. Although scholarly sources are often prioritized in academia, they do have some drawbacks. These drawbacks include the publication process is slow, so scholarly sources are typically not available for current events or breaking news. Authorship of scholarly sources is limited to those with exclusive academic credentials, and authors of color or other oppressed groups can face unfair barriers to participation. Peer review can unjustly silence valid viewpoints that differ greatly from the dominant ones. Also, just because a source is scholarly does not mean it's infallible or appropriate for your use. Make sure your information sources are logically sound and relevant to your argument. Professors and researchers are not the only ones with authority. Government actors, public officials, and medical personnel hold positional authority, meaning they are granted authority because of the positions they hold. Information supplied by people with positional authority is often well regarded, but like all information, it should be examined critically. Individuals' lived experiences can also generate authority. For example, someone who witnesses or lives through an event would have the authority to speak about that experience. Similarly, people who are heavily involved in social movements like activists could be authorities on the related social issues. Academic disciplines vary widely on the types of authority they value. Check your assignment guidelines or ask your instructor if you're not sure which types of authority are appropriate to include. The author's background and credentials are important, but they're not the only ones that determine an information source's authority. The context in which you will use the information is just as, if not more, important. Your subject, argument, and audience will influence which types of sources are appropriate and relevant. Additionally, when writing about a group of people, you may want to include information produced by those people and not just academic resources about them. This would mean seeking information from people who are highly respected in their communities, rather than those with credentials or positions more traditionally accepted in academia. You also have authority. There are several ways to develop and demonstrate this authority in your research projects. 
include citations to your information sources, present others' ideas accurately, and include information from a variety of relevant sources and viewpoints to show readers that you've done the necessary work to write authoritatively about your topic. Authority is constructed and contextual. As we've discussed in this video, authority is a complex concept and an important part of research and learning. Throughout the research process, it's necessary to think critically about the types of authority and how they could support your research in various ways. Don't hesitate to ask a librarian if you would like to discuss sources of authority related to your topic.